is Red Dead Online dying? Or is it already dead? It's something people have been asking themselves for a very long time and was reignited by the Blood Money update that didn't live up to player expectation. And as winter rolled around, hope seemed to be lost completely and the speculation kind of turned into a unified belief that the game is officially beyond repair. And as much as I shared the feelings of disappointment, I asked myself, is the game really dead? I cannot even confirm or deny it, I guess it's in between. So what kind of content would be needed to bring players back or at least keep those who haven't given up or just started playing happy and engaged? I've given some thought to multiple aspects of the game, such as a new quick draw club update or expansions to existing roles. But would that be enough? At this point, I hardly think so. So I sat down and started to do some research for 1890s jobs and entertainment that I feel could make for interesting content. And it quickly led me to one of the most popular family events at the time, the Traveling Circus. There were hints of this in the story mode already and it made for some interesting encounters. Lions, I mean they weren't elephants, but usually there were elephants. And a freak show among other things. It sounded like a cool idea at first, but it didn't take long for me to hit a point where I couldn't come up with actual things to do as a player. And even though I'm the kind of person who would sit down to watch a circus performance in game, this isn't what could save the game. So I searched on and came across Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. I'd heard of it before, but couldn't have told you exactly what it was until now. And the more I looked into it, the more it seemed like something that could be turned into great new content with much interactivity. Buffalo Bill's Wild West Show was a big entertainment program that toured the United States between 1883 and 1913. It employed a huge cast of performers ranging from cowboys and talented riders to trick shooters and Native Americans who reenacted some of their biggest battles with the US Army. Some of these performers retained fame even until today. And I'll go over some of them and propose what I think could be added to the game based on them. For one, there's the show's name giver William Frederick Cody, who earned his name Buffalo Bill after he became the chief meat provider for the Kansas Pacific Railroad. Within less than 18 months, he had killed over 4,000 buffaloes. He rose to some fame after romanticized and glorified stories about him and his victories in the war had been published, and then obviously later on for traveling with his world-famous show. But how could this be put into the game? To start with the obvious, they would need to add a brand new location that could host challenges and events. Whether this would be an actual traveling event plaza of sorts or a stationary one wouldn't really make a difference to me personally. However, if possible, I think it would be more awesome if it cycled through locations just like Madame Nazar does. This place could function as something like the casino in GTA Online or the Gold Saucer in Final Fantasy XIV. Entering it could cost a small fee to give you access to a sort of hub area consisting of a square with tents and maybe a special shop. Each tent would be dedicated to a general category with challenges to pick from. For example, a tent for riding where you can join public or private trick riding or rodeo. And taking part in these challenges would unlock new emotes, accessories, weapons, depending on the tent. New clothes could be, and if necessary, drip feeded, inspired by prominent entertainment personalities from the 1800s. One of which was Miss Annie Oakley, an exceptional trick shooter who impressed the crowds with her incredible shot precision. In her performances, she shot playing cards and coins out of the air, she snuffed out candles with her bullets, and she also did very dangerous stunts such as shooting cigarettes out of her husband's mouth. And unsurprisingly, she wasn't the only one showing off risky handling of a gun. I found footage of men shooting rifles while lying down and even standing on their heads. Turning these crazy stunts into shooting challenges sounds actually perfect to me. There could be various difficulties, game modes based around the different gun types, focusing on speed, accuracy, quantity. You could use it to practice your skills alone or measure yourself with friends or strangers. This tent would provide new guns and bows, weapon skins, accessories, emotes and gun tricks. I looked around for cool gun designs and think this is where Rockstar could gladly derive from staying true to the time period a bit. These are some of the examples I found that I think look awesome, but not too crazy for the game. 
Another group to take center stage were the Rough Riders of the Wild West show that introduced talented men from all over the world to perform athletic stunts on horseback. Riders came from all across the US, including Native Americans, but also from Mexico, European countries such as Spain and Germany, Arabic and South American countries, and a few more. There is a map that shows approximately from where these groups came from that I thought was quite interesting. Based on these cultures, there are so many styles that could be introduced in form of clothing and accessories, maybe even horseback specific emotes or mane and tail decorations for your horses too, as this would be the riding booth rewards. Challenges here could be obstacle courses, maybe actual stunt riding that you could learn to do in Free Rom 2. I'm thinking of something like in the game Shadow of the Colossus where you could have some fun with stunts on your horse while you were riding through the vast stretches of the map. And then of course there's also rodeo rides. But here's some more footage from the actual show to give you a realistic idea of what they did and what might be a good match for the game. I especially like the football or soccer on horseback. It's kind of silly, but I think it would work and would, you know, change things up a bit. Athletic activities without horses could include a fight club, parkour, or a triathlon. Besides riding and shooting, I've spotted some other interesting performances in the footage from the show. For example, a man doing lasso tricks, a military show which made me think of team-based obstacle courses, which I think would be pretty awesome. And in general, I'm a fan of some teamwork missions that actually require at least a second player in your team. While I researched the show, I was surprised to find out that the Native Americans who traveled with Buffalo Bill were willing to reenact some of the battles they fought against the US Army. I guess Americans are more familiar with this than my European as, but as I already mentioned in another video, I really want to see Rockstar include the Native American tribe from the story mode to online, or if not them specifically, then, you know, other new characters, even though I don't really see why that would be necessary. I'm not sure if they could or should incorporate one of these reenactments, but it would be a good stage to educate people on that part of history a little more. Doesn't have to be on the nose, just, you know, something here and there. But this might need some more brainstorming from people with more knowledge and a hand in respectful storytelling, but I think it would be important to include. For new NPCs, we could look towards the secret cards of the story mode, I think. Some of the sets are focused around prominent people in the Red Dead Redemption universe. Artists, musicians, inventors and athletes depicted in these cards could be added as new characters to meet and interact with. Now, in terms of rewards. I've gathered some images of authentic pieces of clothing that were worn by the cast, but also some additional images for extra content. What you can see in these images is many men wearing thigh-high boots, embroidered shirts, neckties and scarves or bandanas. Of Annie Oakley's dresses, you can also find multiple pictures that would be a nice addition to the female closet. I don't have a female character, but from what I've seen, there aren't many dresses or skirts to choose from, so I think there's definitely room for some more. There is a collection of coats and extravagant clothing worn by Buffalo Bill himself that could be taken as inspiration. I know we recently got a coat that has hints of it, but it's not quite the same. And then of course you have the typical styles of the various Rough Riders, depending on what country they represented. From Cossacks to Gauchos and Vaqueros, there were so many nationalities riding with Buffalo Bill's show. Much of it is already in the game, but there are still additions I would love to see. And I already saw some players who tried to recreate Buffalo Bill in the game with what we already have and it looked pretty good. Believe me, I could go on forever and ever and I likely will in another video. But to answer my question from the beginning, can Red Dead Online be saved? Personally, I think it can, but not without some innovation, daring to go a bit off-road and giving players a new challenge, something new to work towards, something with replayability. This is only one of the things I personally think the game needs, you know, things just need to happen. And I wish they started by interacting with the player base more to figure out what we actually want and where the game should be headed. Before I end this video, I just have to say how blown away I am by how crisp this footage is and how far technology has come in the past couple of years, but also like since we had the first video footage and just the fact that we have footage of this time. Incredible. 
But that's it from me for now. I'm gonna see you around. Bye.